in this video we are going to see the comparisons between custom label custom settings and custom uh, metadata in the previous videos we have detailed videos on custom label settings and metadata how to create a custom label how to use the custom settings and what's the advantage of custom metadata all those things it's clearly explained in the individual videos this video is specifically it will concentrate only on the comparison of these three types so first comparison in the aspect of usage or usability <clears throat> where you will be using the custom label and uh, custom settings and custom metadata so generally as you are aware of custom label will be used to avoid hard coding a value single value if you want to store a single value and you want to avoid hard coding in formulas or validation rule or in apex then custom label will be the right choice <clears throat> along with that custom label also supports multilingual application for example i have created a flow in the flow i'm welcoming my user with a simple label there okay so suppose if i have one user who is locally is from france you know french then probably i wanted to show the welcome message in french right so custom label will help us to create a multilingual application so then next comes the custom settings <clears throat> Custom settings are generally used to store a single value, but single value can be stored uh, in the context of a profile or users. All right. So that's what hierarchical custom settings. So we'll be mostly used hierarchical custom settings if you want to store a single value, but that value will change from profile to profile. For example, sales rep, I wanted to give 20% commission. For marketing person, I wanted to give 10% commission. These values, it's a business perspective. It is a single value but I wanted to store this for different profiles. If that's the case, custom settings will be the uh, right option. And then we have a custom metadata. Custom metadata also will allow us to store, uh, you know, uh, application or related configurations. If we have more than one record, let's say I want to store a configuration or I want to store a couple of fields information, but there are 10 records. If that is the case, rather than creating 10 custom labels and 10 custom settings, creating a single custom metadata will be the right option. So when you have more than one record, then obviously custom metadata will be the right option. <clears throat> Next aspect is a deployment. Okay, we have built something in the developer environment. Now it's time to move it to other environments or let's say production also. That is a case, that process is called as deployment, right? When we are moving things from one environment to other environment, custom label can be deployed with the label as well as the data. It's possible. As far as custom settings is concerned, you have a limitation. You cannot move the custom settings <coughs> with the data. Custom settings means the only the object as well as the field will be moved to other environment. Data you cannot deploy through, you know, the deployment tools and you need to recreate the data in the other environment. That's a drawback with custom settings. Custom metadata, it supports moving both the schemas as well as the data, that is the object as well as the records. You can move to the other environment. <coughs> Next is the SOQL perspective. Do we really need SOQL to access all these custom label settings and metadata? No. The answer is no. It's not at all required as of now. Custom label can be easily accessed as label dot and then the label name. That will give you the value. Custom settings also can be easily accessed with the help of an instance method. We have a get instance method. Using get instance method, we can access the custom settings. How to use that? We have a detailed video. Go ahead. Check that. Custom metadata, we can access the metadata with SOQL, without SOQL as of now. But if you are going to use the SOQL also, the SOQL will not, you know, cover against, count against your uh, governor limits. We have a governor limits in place in Salesforce, right? Because it's a single tenant architecture, sorry, multi-tenant architecture for the effective usage of resources, Salesforce in place the governor limits. For example, I can issue 150 SOQLs, you know, per transaction. Then if I have five SOQLs, which used to get the data from the custom metadata, then definitely those five will not be counted against the governor limits. No need to worry about that. That is the advantage of custom metadata. Without a SOQL also these days, you can access the custom metadata. How to access it? 
again go and watch the video detailed videos for how to use custom metadata next one is the relationship field is it possible to relate these metadata and settings and label that's what relationship field custom label obviously it's going to be a single value no way custom settings also does not support custom metadata supports to relate more than one custom metadata i can create a single custom metadata and i can make it as a child for other custom metadata that is relationship field to other custom metadata it cannot be for other custom objects and that is possible with custom metadata and then usage in validation rule in validation rule we can use custom label If the custom setting is concerned we can use only hierarchy custom settings in the validation rule we cannot use list custom settings only hierarchy custom settings as of now custom metadata is not available for usage in the validation rule next is the crucial point the limit right always we have a limit in salesforce right custom label in a single org you can create 5000 custom labels in an org you can create right as far as custom setting is concerned custom setting is it's similar to custom objects so the key point is custom settings also count against the governor limit of custom object for example i have five custom objects in my org so if i'm going to create a custom settings this custom settings also consider as a custom object now the total consumed the custom objects in my org will be 6 out of 6 5 will be the custom object one will be the custom settings but that will also count against the org limit for example you are allowed to create 400 inclusive of custom objects and custom settings from unmanaged package you might have installed some unmanaged package that package may consist of some uh, you know custom settings so inclusive of that you are allowed to create 4000 if you install any managed package from app exchange <coughs> excuse me then probably 3000 is allowed then here comes the custom metadata as far as custom metadata is concerned you are allowed to have 200 custom metadata in your both consist of managed and unmanaged packages also you can have in your org so is it possible to see these things yes if you go to your org in the setup search for system overview the system overview will give you the insights of this uh, custom settings label and metadata what's the usage you know for example see here under the schema i am able to see custom objects plus custom settings right that's what i told custom setting is also considered as a custom object so inclusive of custom settings and custom objects now i have 25 in my org i'm allowed to have 400 so as of my usage is only 6 percentage similarly you have the custom objects and custom settings for uh, you know managed packages and you have a custom metadata usage also here so this system overview will give you the complete picture of the usage that is related to custom label custom settings and custom metadata hope this video might be helpful to understand the comparisons between custom label custom settings and custom metadata so if you want to know how to use it then you can watch the detailed video of custom label custom settings and custom metadata implementations if you are interested to learn salesforce visit aj skill development website there you can find our course curriculum and you can come to know about the list of courses we are offer we are offering salesforce administrator and salesforce development courses to know about us and the team you can visit our about us section this is an organization we are doing salesforce training from 2018 and we have trained out and guided 2000 plus candidates so far and if you also want to know about our placement assistance visit our placement assistance section where you can find the list of people and the category you can see the list of people who got uh, trained and placed from our side you can also visit their linkedin pages to get to know about our training and also the feedback from the relevant trainees okay and also if you want to do the course inquiry click on contact us you will see the form you can fill the form and submit the inquiry our team will get back to us thank you